It's time for Three Minute Thursday. Oh, it feels nice to say that again. I've missed these. If you're new here and you've never seen a Three Minute Thursday before, it's where I give myself three minutes to explain something. And I almost never go over time. So a month ago, I teamed up with Group IB to help them fight cybercrime. And I've been digging around and I came across this awesome free tool that you don't even need to sign up for. You can just go use it to do malware research. Let's check it out. Now this nice long page here explains all the things about this malware detonation platform. So click this blue button to access the reports and here we go. And if we scroll down this page, it just keeps loading and loading and loading until the database is fully loaded hundreds of thousands of malware detonations. Now you probably won't use it like that. You've probably found something in your environment or on your home computer and you wanna check out to see if it's nasty. To do that, you take the file name or the hash of the file or usual sort of artifacts like that and we search for it. So I'm gonna come in here and you can see all these different things that you can search by and I'm gonna choose TI malware name and I'm gonna type in Agent Tesla. Here we go. Whole bunch of Agent Tesla. Let's click on this. This is where it gets powerful and you can really start to analyze what might be going on here. On the left, we have a graph and at the bottom we can change to process view or file view. So these are all the files that have ended up on our system as a result of this Agent Tesla infection. And we could now go search for any of these files in our environment. We can also look at processes that have been spawned and in the graph, we get to see that too. We can zoom in here. There's the email itself, and we can see processes that are all being created off of it. It's really, really powerful. Now, if we click up at the top, we get MITRE ATT&CK. I've done a separate video on MITRE ATT&CK. If you don't know what that is, this is basically everything that was done to the machine. So there was a process injection, there was process hollowing, there was access token manipulation, and all of these things took place. And then if we click on the network tab, we get to see session results, DNS results, HTTP, ICMP, SMTP, FTP, and IRC. And I'm just gonna go back to the investigation tab and I'm gonna click home here. You can see a SHA-1 of this. We can see that it is 98% malicious, so it's probably a bad thing. First scene, last scene, and if we click show more, we get loads more details here. We also get all of the signatures for it. So this is the MITRE ATT&CK stuff that you saw before, just in a big long list. There is no video for this infection, but if we click on configs, we can see here there are FTP credentials. And if I click on this, we get them here. Now I've blurred these out, obviously. Click on artifacts. You can see there are 25 files, 30 registry changes. That's important for persistence. We've got mutexes, dumps, and network. So that's it. Like this is a really powerful tool that just lets you easily understand the behaviors of files on systems. It's fantastic if you're an investigator. Time, boom, I did it. Under three minutes. Until next time.